Hello, this is Gina with Where the Wild Bee Wings. And thank you so much for joining me for a little devotional and some Bible journaling. And um, we'll be going over the readings for today. So I'm trying to read the Bible through the year and the plan that I'm using. Today's readings are Genesis chapter 9, verses 1 through chapter 10, verses 32. So it's chapters 9 and 10. Psalm 3, 5 through 8, Proverbs 1, verses 23 through 27, and Matthew 5, verses 1 through 26. <clears throat> and I put the rainbow sticker here because in Genesis today, they have the passage about God making the covenant with, with the earth, actually. And I'll, I'll talk more about that in a minute on my other page. So my verse that I wrote down today that I found that God was speaking to me was Psalm 3, verses 5 through 6, which was this. And uh, I read out of the New King James, and it says, I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. And this was written by David when he was running from from King Saul a number of times. And um, I like this verse a lot because sometimes I try to sleep, I can't sleep, and I just pray and God sustains me regardless of how many hours that I sleep. The Lord sustains me. And some people have said that I was being courageous in some of these videos and I don't think so. If anything, it's God, it's God working, but I'm not afraid because I know God promises that um, there are, it says, I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people who have set themselves against me all around because if the Lord is on your side, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. And there are armies of angels about that. Most of the times we can't see, sometimes we can see. So that is, that's a little bit of the reading today. And so on this page, in my prayer, in my, uh, prayer journal or my Bible journal, they have the grade of the month. And um, so for today I put down, okay, I didn't write the verses down, but it was in chapter, chapter nine or chapter 10, I think it was chapter nine. But God says, he, he says, I set my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. So the Bible talks about how God made the covenant using the rainbow as a reminder, covenant not only to Noah and his children and his wife and their wives, but he also made the covenant to the animals. For every creeping thing, he made a covenant with them that he would not destroy the world again, destroy everything again by a flood. And that's what the rainbow is a reminder of. And I have a sticker. Oh, I can find it now. Where's my little animal sticker? I was looking at these yesterday and we found the iguana. And here it is. And I wanted to put the, I wanted to put the toucan on because his nose looks a little bit like a rainbow to me. So the rainbow is God's sign to us. It's a covenant, reminder of the covenant that he made. And I'm just going to put this right here. So unfortunately, the rainbow is also a symbol of other things that are not from God. But that's what the devil does sometimes is he takes things that God means for good and he kind of twists it and they use it for something not pleasing to God. But this is reminding me that God made the covenant to the animals as well. I think that's really exciting. And um, so God made the animals and they're very precious in his sight, just like people are. So before we do Jerry Miller, I forgot to do my verse this morning. I got carried away. And I did not share this first. So this is from the new, this is from King James. And this was a gift from my friend Annie. And it's Thursday, January 5th. It says, 
from 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth, causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest savor, Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. But let me just read that again. My tongue's getting all twisted. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. That part's tripping me up a little bit. So I'm actually going to look this up in a different version because sometimes um, sometimes it's tricky. And what I'll do is I will go ahead and I will type that and I'll put that in the video. So that's that. that. Sometimes I love King James, but sometimes it's a little bit it's the old English is a little bit hard to um, it's definitely hard to speak <laughs> that's for sure and um, I will share that and I will type that out for you so J.R. Miller is a gentleman born 1840 he died in 1912 and he was a great believer and um, very wise so he has January 5th Prayer in Busy Days. It is in prayer that God shows his face to his children, that they have visions of his beauty and glory, that the sweet things of his love come down as gifts into their hearts, and that they are transformed into his likeness. If you would be blessed, get many seasons of prayer into your busy, harassed, tempted, struggling life. It is in these quiet moments that you really grow. Somewhere in every vexed, feverish day, get a little silent time for prayer. It will bring heaven down into your heart and make you strong for service. And it definitely will refresh you and just help you persevere. And so that is the little reading from J.R. Miller. And if you have any prayer requests that you would like prayed for, you can put it in the comment box in this video, or you can go to the community page. The first of the month, I'm going to try and post a um, post every month that has the ask if anyone wants prayer so that I will pray for you and other people pray as well. And you don't have to be specific. You can be um, as general as you like because God knows your heart and God knows your need. And I would be honored to pray for you. So, thank you very, very much for watching. And um, I'm excited to share these little tidbits of God's word with you. And God bless you this day. Bye-bye.